Hello, I'm Steve Watson here at Someday Farm doing a little uh, bag drill. Uh, this bag drill can be done with a single bag, multiple bag. Uh, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet, but I have the multiples here. It'll work with uh, different types of targets than than bags. Certainly having students hold pads, um, you know, hanging a string from the rafters, that sort of thing works fine. Uh, so standing heavy bag, hanging heavy bag, it's all good. I happen to have the standing heavy bags. As with any bag drill, you want to make sure that you're thinking safety. So uh, hand wraps, bag gloves would be advisable. Now this particular drill I like to do, this is a drill for somebody that's uh, a student of a few different arts. And what I like to do is, um, let's say I'm thinking of the Neja Chuan sisters. And so what I want to do is, uh, the, for me, the natural progression is Xing Yi, Ba Gua Zhang, and then Tai Chi Chuan. So I'm going to do three hits, right? And, you know, the first hit is Xing Yi, right? So Xing Yi concept, anyway. The second hit is going to be a Ba Gua concept. And then the third hit is going to be a Tai Chi concept, right? So the idea for me is to kind of... Uh, weave together the arts and then also by bringing them side by side they it can help for me as a student of the arts to highlight the differences among them right it doesn't mean that i'm exactly right or i have the most scholarly approach to it but i'm trying to um bring together my understandings of them side by side and express them uh chronologically side by side so that i can compare and contrast right? This isn't about what's better or what I like best. So for example, right, I'm thinking that, you know, Xingyi is fairly straight, right? Now we can have a whole argument about that. Is it straight or not? And how, what is straight anyway? And how straight is it? And is it always straight and all the rest? But I can also reasonably say, yeah, it's pretty straight, right? Baguazhang is fairly spinny, right? <laughs> tai Chi Chuan is fairly spirally. That's enough for me to get three strikes, right? So straight, even if I'm not specifically doing a Xingyi move, right? A Xingyi move followed by a Baguazhang move, which I could, Xingyi Chuan move, and then, right? But I could also just do a strike that's kind of fit in that idea that I have at the moment, which is that it's fairly straight point A to point B, right? So I have one followed by two, one, two by a Bagua move, right? Followed by a Tai Chi move, right? And that move could be a block, a clear, a brush, or a hit. Certainly doesn't really make a difference. So with uh, with three different bags, I might do this as I move through them, right? I would just sort of keep the, the same idea, right? But Xing Yi, Ba Gua, and then Tai Chi, right? And that's my idea. Then I Then what I will do is I will say, okay, instead of just straight spin and spiral, I'm going to think more vertical and more horizontal and more spiral, right? So that I'm going through three other ways to compare and contrast and kind of come to understand these arts. And then I'll just go on and on. Like, okay, what other quality, right? Does one move more from the lower back or the hips or the feet and so on and so forth? And I'll go through the drill that way. Uh, with a partner, I might do this with the partners holding bags and kind of as I come into range, they state the art or they state the quality without stating the art. So they'll say lateral or spiral or drawing in or whatever it might be. And, uh, you know, then you have to respond in, in that kind. So, uh, wish you well that please continue to be safe. Remember that confidence, file follows competence and competence follows consistency. So keep at it. Thank you so much. And definitely appreciate you commenting here on YouTube and liking and subscribing and uh, letting me know what else you'd like to see. Thank you.